All right, we're back with some Catamon. After playing the last time, I have since discovered that you can actually get above evolution threes on some of the guys if you have the right the right configuration. So we're gonna try that out today, see what happens. Also, we had perhaps the strangest finale ending to this run. Super weird, I've never seen anything like it. You'll just have to see for yourself. Hope you enjoy. All right, we are back with another Catamon game, but not an ordinary Catamon game. And we're going to get to that here in a second. But first off, we got to get a team going. Um, so from what I've started to learn here, you want to avoid mini bosses, at least in the beginning, because they're kind of awful. <laughs> they're very hard to beat in round or in act one. So typically you're better off just avoiding them until you get bigger. Okay, looking good. Not too worried about these early matches. And I will happily grab you on our team. On attack, we could apply some decay. Um, battle star, you gain max health. Any movement, you gain shield. I mean, we're not really moving. I guess we grab you just for now. Um, water into ice. Ooh, that's very good for our... For our, uh, what's his name? Monku? That is fantastic for Monku. Let's do that. But what I've learned is that you can actually evolve beyond level 3. Which I didn't realize was possible. It's kind of like Pokemon Mega Evolutions in a way. But we're going to try to do a little bit of that if we can. I don't know. I, from what I understand, you have to have a certain type of item in order to actually trigger it once your evolution maxed out. So we'll see if we can make something like that happen. Um, on hurt, you gain thorns as shield. I mean, I'll grab you just because you're a tank and we need a tank, but... That's really it. <laughs> There's not a whole lot else there for us. Alright, just keep cooking. Mystery event, what do we get? Magic orb, naturally. We can get a field effect, we can get a random typing, or an item. Are the field effects permanent? Is that is this a field effect? If that's the case, I kinda wanna do that. Ooh, it is. Dude, every time I get weird dome, I don't understand. <laughs> it's like, okay, whatever. It's not like a huge issue because you don't typically buy that much anyways. It's just weird how common I seem to get it. Okay, does this guy only shield himself? Does he not attack? Oh no, he does. He's just super slow. Okay, so you should be frozen. Yeah, so now our Monku is going to do extra damage to you when he normally wouldn't. Dude, that's the first time I actually feel like that typing field effect has made a difference. I'd love to see it. Okay, um, I mean, you just seem good, right? Do we want any of these things? No... I mean, that's actually fantastic on our homie up front. Yeah, let's grab it. We'll go here. Unfortunately, we'll put it like this because we, we don't have a we don't have an item to switch it out with yet. So we can't actually remove thorn corn on you. But once we do. I think this guy is going to go off. I think he's going to be very good. You moved. I don't think we're looking for any of these. So we could do another one of these. We could do a campsite, which is just like uh, upgrade your homie, get some experience. Let's do some, some more battles. And what does this give us? Oh, that actually pairs very well with you as well. Maybe we try to get an earth combo going. Maybe, maybe. We'll see.
Okay. Yeah, I'm now realizing that guy probably shouldn't have been up front. For some reason I was picturing him being a tank when he was holding that item. And he's definitely not a tank. Alright, hopefully we can still take these homies out. It's getting a little close, but their back line is pretty weak. Oh, it's gonna be close. I think we're good. Oh, that kind of hurts though. Can our tank take him out? Surely he doesn't lose here, right? <laughs> Surely. Alright, we're good. Almost. That was almost bad. Okay. Keep it cooking. Get a catamon. What do we got? Decay applied doesn't matter. We could get a bomb. Deals a bunch of damage when he faints. We already have a tank though. Maybe we hold on to you. Just because I don't like any of the other ones that much. And then... So I think we get rid of you. Throw you up front with the Thornicorn. Once we can replace it. Sold. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, this isn't bad, don't get me wrong. I don't think that's what we're going for here. Okay. And in case you're wondering, we're looking for a flame belt. That's our target here. Oh, we definitely want to get earth typing. Who do we get it on, though? Maybe you. Sure. We'll give you earth typing, because now we get... We get tier 2 earth abilities. If that's how, how that works. And we... We'll eventually throw you on to get tier 3, and then the Rokorm is just going to go off. He's going to go absolutely wild. Okay. Yeah, I mean, their team's looking pretty weak. I think we'll do well here. Our team is a little ragtag still, but we got a direction here. We're just waiting. Wait to see how it goes. Okay... There's so many attacks, nobody's actually <laughs> gaining their their uh, meter or whatever it's called. Okay, good hit. Why'd you just move over there? <laughs> you moved up and then jumped back to attack, like a little fade away or something. That was funny. Okay, fantastic. Alright. I mean, this is just looking great. Flame flower, is that what we need? No, we need flame belt. Okay, well, what are you? Ally regen? Don't think we care. Ooh, that's also good. Hold on to you. And who do we want to recruit? I don't think it really matters. What does a fire one do? Everyone gains attack? That's pretty good. I mean, his snow's good, though. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. He doesn't seem great. But he has three typings, which is pretty solid. Um, what are you? Quick escape, and you are radioactive gem. Oh, that thing's terrible. Okay. Maybe I'll grab a snow's. The three typing is intriguing. You know, maybe just put a ton of typing on the guys and throw it, throw in. And then... See, how does this work? Do you gain thorns as shield and then when you're shielded you take less damage? But I don't think that alone is going to be enough. But I think... I mean, you're a pretty good combo there. It's just like ice and electric. What are we going to do with that? You know, not a whole lot. Okay. I think we just stick with what we got here. Maybe I'll throw in a Snows just to see what he's like. See if he's good.
Okay. Um, what do we got here? Everyone gets some damage. Everyone, or the front guy gets the earth ability. I think we're just cooking. Ooh, big hit from the Monku. Nice. Oh, interesting. So that even if they don't break through the shield, it still technically counts as hurt. Because I, it, I don't think it works like that in games like Hearthstone and stuff. So it's interesting. You can kind of stack armor on armor if they just attack a bunch of times with the really weak. It's good to know. See, like, he's already at 21. That's crazy. 31. Okay, that guy's going to go insane. If we can get him a solid thorn mechanism, it's going to go absolutely wild. A bouquet. Mm, it's okay. Quick escape, we already saw that. I don't love any of these, but I think we do grab one. Just so we can use the items and whatnot. But I think we keep these homies. Oh, we could get experience though. Actually, I kind of like this. We do this, he attacks a bunch of times, you give armor to you, who has the coconut, hear me out now, and then takes less damage and then keeps stacking armor with his thorns. That seems pretty darn good. Alright, avoid the mini boss, let's keep going this way. A loud noise. A unit gains ice or grass type. We got neither of those. We have ice actually, just kidding. But that's not ally faint. We're not really hoping to faint. <laughs> that's not ideal. Just get some experience. Who do we want to give it to? I'd normally say Monku, but I think Rokorm is actually going to be the play here. Who does he turn into? I don't think I've seen this evolution. What is that? <laughs> the Warmint? Alright, sure. Full send. And then, the you go this way. We're slightly stronger against grass homies. Ooh, they have a work Rokorm too. That means we can get another, we can get some experience on him. What is this, suggest him? Two spaces ahead passive, weird. Okay. And I also realized, hold on, where is it? Hold on. There's this type effectiveness chart, which is very useful. But like if we have, what is it, earth? We get sauced by water and grass, but that's it. Well, that's a nice little, little helper outer if you're playing. I will attempt to consult this one occasionally. So where did you get the thorns from? Did your, did your ability just go off and it's already that high? That would be insane. Oh, that's a big hit. Okay, I think we can just speed through this one. We already know what's happening. They keep hitting you, you keep gaining a shield and, and then they eventually die to thorns. Okay, definitely go Rokorm. What is what I wonder what happens to this. What do the bells do? We get to keep them? No. It's kind of sucky. <laughs> I want to keep the bells. Whatever. Plurple. Hurt deal one and I mean, that's pretty good. Not really our vibe, but still quite good. All right, continue. I wonder we lost morale to. Did we buy something already that I don't remember buying? Is lightning any good? On ally attack, grant allies. Oh, that's very good. Are we doing a lightning thing? I'm assuming they can have up to three. 
Maybe we throw it on the Monku. I'm starting to suspect that the typing is more of a combine with your team kind of angle as opposed to play against the enemy kind of angle. That's my guess at least. Okay. So let's consult our type effectiveness chart here. Oh, not that one. So this guy is grass and bug. So we want fire, air, ice and toxic. Okay. Good to know. Um, we have fire, ice. That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if I was actually going to change anybody for it. But at least we know, you know. Yeah, so this is a long battle, but I think it's going to be pretty much the same as it has been. This guy just takes up all the hits. These guys eventually take him out. 54 thorns? What is going on here? Hold on, hold on. I mean, this is... This is actually important. Where are these thorns coming from? Is it actually the zip strat just triggering you? Because you're gaining armor. And then you're gaining... Well, you're gaining... Armor from your thorns. Dude, I have no idea where it's coming from. To be completely honest. Unless this guy just keeps hitting him over and over again, maybe? I have no idea. Let me know if you know, because I am lost. <laughs> I don't know. Evil toy. Deal two of a random negative status effect. Gain a permanent health on ally something. That's cool. Not for this build, but definitely cool in the future. We're not really applying slow. I guess we just go evil toy here. Now this is the one we care about, the field effect. Well, <laughs> those aren't that exciting. We'll go flower field. It's okay. Alright. Um, we could re-roll. Maybe it's worth re restocking. Do we get a pecklet? I haven't seen this guy. We're not really going air typing, though. Bulbo. Hey, there's our belief. Nice. Um... I don't think... Ooh, we found the flame belt. That's huge. In one damage, which stays between battles. On faint. Interesting. Well, we gotta give it to you. And then... There's a second flame belt. Okay. Well, I think we're good here. Now, this seems like a good path to take. And now that we're on two, I don't think we mind going for some mini bosses. Because we're really friggin' strong now. Alright, we'll send it. Dude, this guy's just getting so much shield. It's insane. <laughs> it's interesting because it's basically... You're fighting this power curve, and if they drop below it at any point, it's exponential how quickly he gains shield. Kinda scary, actually. Ooh, the Loudner is just solid. I think we take you for your toy. And then we can... Who do we want to get rid of? We don't really care about that one. We'll give you the Loudner. Okay. I mean, this team's looking really good. I'm liking this so far. Just keep cruising. Did that guy instantly die? I didn't even see what happened. <laughs> he was just gone. Nobody even threw a punch. That's how I'd probably be in a fight. Like, hey, you want to fight? Nah. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I ain't into that. Oh, Monku's leveling. Let's see. They're not leveling, evolving. Jimpire. Heck yeah. And now we decide who we want. Ah, oh, well there's the flame belt. We could've just gotten it there. Alright, 
We'll grab you. Now we need to start selling homies. Sell you. Get a little experience cooking. These guys are almost leveled. And I believe if you sell a level 2, like an evolved homie, it gives even better stuff. Like more experience and whatnot. Okay, well now let's put the Chimpire in here. Try to offset the, the leveling between the Wormant and Chimpire. Dude, this guy's starting to do some real damage. Oh, they might be above the power curve. Ooh, not quite. Almost. He was down to three. That could have been sketch. Okay, we got an orb riddle. We aren't actually using this guy, so I don't really care. Knows we might use. I don't think so. Oh, another one? We got a Prophasia. Lovely. Now we can recruit. Who do we want? Hmm. I don't think any of these are very good. This is a summon one if we wanted to summon, but I don't think we're doing that. Okay, so at this point, I think we can start selling stuff. Um, let's see. We sell you, we get, okay, so then we get a 10 EXP. Little trinket thing, little token. I'll keep you just in case, like, a, an air ability is super good. And yeah, so we want to go for the mini bosses we had discussed. And I think we just cook it. Oh baby, we are cooking. It's at 25 thorns already. So he's getting 14 armor every time he gets hit. It's insane. Actually insane. What is this? Whalebone. Not great. Who do we want to recruit here? Scorpet. Ally faint deal 5 damage. Just sell you. Any good items here? Not really. Jetpack is sometimes good. We could throw it on the Chimpire once we're done with the Flame Belt, maybe. But for now... Get rid of you. And then we'll keep cooking. Alright, this is the true test. Can we defeat the mini boss? Who is this? Farmok. On attack trigger other allies attacks. That is a very quick attack and I am terrified. We're gonna have to hope that our warmint gets a ton of thorns very quickly. Otherwise we'll be in trouble. Okay, it does look like he's outpacing them, which is very good. We are all right. Yes, okay. That could have been, if he didn't outpace them, we would have been in trouble. I'll tell you that much. We got a core glue. What's this guy? He's new. Ally gain shield. <laughs> I think we found our homie. That thing is so good with our, with our, uh, what's his, what's his name? Like our worm homie. All right, what is this guy? Boror. Okay, we don't need you. Scorpet turns into Scorpain. First pet, then pain. Hmm, don't think we like any of these. I already have a Thornicorn in her group here. Let's grab you. We get a shop ticket. Turn all grass into fire. We don't want that. We're actually good against grass. Well, actually, grass is good against our ground guy. Maybe that would be good. No. No, just kidding. Because they're typing. The abilities they use on us aren't going to change, as far as I'm aware. They would still use fire. It would just be a different typing. Um, hold on. This is just insane. I didn't even look at sharp spikes. Every time our front guy gets hit, he gains one thorn. 
and proceeds to gain more shield because of it. Okay. I think it's time to ditch you. We gotta bring out, where is he? Our core glue. So basically, you're just going absolutely insane. Is the the gist of it. <laughs> this guy's actually going to go insane. He already basically is. Okay. And then you're just our big damage dealer. And we can give you... Maybe we run it like this. No, I think we run it like this. <laughs> so you're gonna get... Before attack, you get... You get some stuff. I don't know, is it charge? Is that what we calling it? I'm sure there's a name for it, I just don't know what it is. Okay. And so we just need to make sure you don't get instantly nuked, is the main thing. But yeah, like look how quickly this is ramping already. Oh my lord. This is absolutely insane. Actually insane. Who do we get here? Hmm, nobody that we really want. Hmm, let's grab you so we can sell you. I think we just start selling some homies. Try to get you to level 3 soon. And you, for that matter. Okay, so selling these just gives gold. It doesn't give experience. Interesting. Thought it'd give a little bit. Okay, run it like that. I don't want to sell everybody, but at least some of them. All right, continuing on. Oh baby, look how much armor he's getting. <laughs> he's getting 20 armor every time he gets hit by the end of that battle. Absolutely wild. Okay, again, I think it's just gonna be a select him Sell it, get a campfire. I mean, that's really good on you. Maybe do that at some point. I think it consumes the, the flame belt when he like super upgrades, but I've never seen it, so I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's try the mini boss again. See what this guy does. Oh, same dude. If we beat him before, we can beat him again. Unless he's like a lot stronger, but doesn't seem to be. Oh, he's actually quite strong. <laughs> That's a little intimidating. <laughs> that was much closer than I was hoping it would be. But we're good. Ended on 69, nice. Um, let's see. Loudner, sure. Air types into earth. Okay. So if we do that, then we'll be up to three again. And we'll get four and two. Did not work. Who is our air type? It says we have air type, but I don't see anybody on our team with it. Okay, well now I'm just confused. <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, moving on. So this one we can handle, I think. Oh, that's a lot of grass, actually. Maybe, we'll see. Hopefully he doesn't get instant nuked. Yeah, so there still says we have an air one. Supposed to turn into earth, but it didn't. 
game confuses me sometimes, I'll tell you that much. Crude Catamon, it's literally a box. <laughs> Alright. I'd like the box, please. Banuck. I mean, this is pretty good. We might actually throw you in, I'm not sure yet. Like, how good is the core glue, right? I guess realistically it would be the Zumbus that we'd get rid of, if anything. How good is this? Ally attack, grant all allies, charge. I guess if you think about it. Most of your scaling is just coming from the sharp spikes passive. Maybe we do Bannock here. Okay, I think we ditch you, throw in a Bannock right behind you, and then that'll help with your survivability a little bit too. Can we sell anybody here? Oh, that was an oops. We did not have room for it. There it is, let's see. What is this? Chimpire turns into, I forget his name, Obsimian. Yeah, okay. So you're just really good. Hurt gain two. Huge. And then... I thought it was... You have the flame belt, you like, get big, but maybe it's in battle? Maybe you have to win a battle to do it? I'm not sure. Okay, so gaining experience, you're basically there. Physical typing? Not really. Get our Bannock some experience here. Alright, so here's the big boss. Let's see. Enemy gains status, you gain one of that status. Are you gonna have infinite thorns? Is that what I'm gathering? Because <laughs> that could be an issue. It's kind of looking that way. Well then how the heck are you supposed to beat this guy? <laughs> he has 20 24 thorns. Alright, whatever, I guess. <laughs> that was actually impossible to beat. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now we're talking. Ooh. What does he do now? I mean, hurt, gain three. Oh, baby. Now we need to give him this guy. Yeah, so he doesn't need to keep holding on to it, I guess. Hopefully he doesn't transform back. We'll see. Okay, maybe we do this. You're up to 14. That's pretty darn good. What are you up here? Oh, you have the shield one, that's right. I'm wondering if it would be better to give him thorns right away. I don't think so, though. So the Bannock actually should be back here, because I don't think it has to be immediately ahead. In which case, this is very good. We'll see if that works. Sometimes it's hard to follow what's going on in, in battle. Okay. So I think we just go down, try to go down the safe-ish path here. Somewhere that we are pretty sure we aren't gonna just instant die. Just one off, you hate to see that. Okay. So, yeah, okay. So the Bannock did heal the, the front guy. 126 attack by the end of this? That's insane. Alright, what do we got? Anything good? No? Alright, we'll just grab you. What do you have? 
first Shamazin. Eh, I don't care. Go here, see what the Wormant turns into. We also have to see if he has a Hyper Evolution too, because that would be awesome. Warmonger. Ooh, he does. We have to find a broken rock. Any broken rocks out there? <laughs> None of these look like broken rocks. Restock. Dude, I wish I didn't have this stinking weird tome. I didn't even want it. Okay. Because otherwise I would buy these instantly. No, those are bongos. That's not a weird rock. Alright, no weird rocks to be found. We'll look for them. We'll try to find a weird rock. Print them. Maybe the core glue isn't as good as it seemed when I first got him. Maybe it's not worth it. Oh baby, this is <laughs> this is gonna go off. The sustain from the Bannock is just wonderful. It's exactly what we need to get past the initial hump. So even if he feigns later on, it's still going to be very good. Okay, broken rock? No. None of these look like broken rocks. Grab you. We might take a, a share of spadge here. I'm not sure yet. And how much? You have 14 attack? That's honestly not bad. So you gain... You'd gain seven extra attacks, he'd be at 14 as well. That's not bad. We take those. Um, where are we? Here? It just said damage? That's it? <laughs> oh wait, no, this is bad. We, we don't have a whole lot of this morale to lose. Let's do this one. I would do zero if I could. Alright, let's see if we can handle the mini boss. It's gonna be a little dicey. And he moved use there super three times. Uh, that, that's a little intimidating. Are we going to be able to handle this? In short, no. Maybe? Is he actually going to be able to hold his own here? No shot. <laughs> no shot. Does Warmonger get us there? This guy is amazing. I love him. That is incredible. Everyone else got instantly nuked, and he's just like, nah, I got this. 1v9. Okay, small stick is very good. Um, yeah, no rocks here. No rocks to be found. Turn all dusk into physical and physical into dusk. That could not matter less. Okay. This is huge. Yeah, this is just amazing. Okay. Um, hold on. Did we not get that? Did we really have a full inventory? <laughs> All right, we need to get rid of stuff. We didn't get the, the stick that I wanted. That's such a bummer. All right, moving on. Yay to see that. Um, do we want ice? Ally faint, apply slow. That doesn't seem that good. Just get the ban Bannock to level 3 as soon as possible. Ooh, they don't have any grass moves. That's really good for us. Alright, Warmonger. It's all you, brother. Jesus, they are just getting absolutely swamped. I don't think anybody actually lost health there. Except for Bannock. <laughs> Bannock did, definitely did. Um, okay. Chimpire, you're already maxed. Zumbus, we could do. Hold on, check for rocks. The shield is not a rock. And we can grab a Zumbus, I guess. There's a chance we still run him. I haven't completely discounted him yet. Any rocks? It's a lot of roots. 
I'm not sure what the rocks look like, but I assume I'll know it when I see them. <laughs> I would hope. Oh, they got a full dark team. It's a little scary. How's that gonna do? What happened? <laughs> um. What's going on? <laughs> Did we lose? It just said we lost, and now we're still going. We're early. We're early on in the game. Okay, you gotta give him a cut him up some slack here. Ally head hurt. Yeah. Okay. So we win, but we lost. I don't know what's going on. Am I gonna lose the second I pick one of these guys? No rocks to be seen. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but we're at zero morale. Just don't, <laughs> is it not going to let me continue? Am I soft locked? Maybe I have to go negative. Maybe I need to buy something. Anyone help? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, well, I mean... I guess this is the end. It randomly just dropped morale without us doing anything. And we didn't spend any gold, so I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, that was a cool one. Um, I think we would have done fine against the final boss with this team, but <laughs> I guess we'll have to find out next time. We'll try out some different builds, see what other hypers we can discover, but for now, I'm softlocked, so thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.